and I was their client for years. I didn't see this. The cheapest monthly plan I've seen was like uh, 16 quid. So what's going on? You know what's going on because I just told you. So what's up guys, welcome to the Hardwin82 channel. I'm Adam and today we're gonna talk about how we can use technology these days to cut on our phone bills. So if you wanna know something about that, if you wanna know how to pay less for your monthly, monthly charges, stay with me. Also at the end of the movie, I will give you two extra tips. So stay tuned. So guys, I will tell you what happened to me recently and what I found I wanna just share with you because I wasn't aware about that. So probably you weren't as well. So my contract with my current provider, uh, current phone provider ended. And uh, surprise, surprise, my provider wasn't really keen to give me a good deal. So I was like, what, what's going on? Why? I know there's in, there is inflation, but, but there has to be something for a long-term uh, client, something like a special deal, and there is. So this video is a little bit unusual because I usually am not giving financial advices on my channel, but uh, uh, trust me, this still is about the technology because what I'm gonna show you is a tool that you can use for free on the internet right now. So the tool I wanna show you guys is, uh, is a search engine. I'm sure you heard about that, but I, I don't think you know how good it is. So I'm gonna tell you about two search engines you will use today. One is gocompare.com and the other one is moneysupermarket.com. So if you're in England, you will use those two, but if you're in different country like US, you need to find like an alternative for your country. So I'll just give you my example. I'm currently with Network Free and I'm paying around 25, 26 quid per month for my data, and texts and messages, doesn't matter. My contract ended and I wanted something cheaper because uh, because I don't I do not fancy paying that much especially because I'm not using all my allowance. Uh, so I was looking for something at least 10 quid cheaper because over the year it's going to give you massive savings. So first I went to the local stores like you know those network providers like in England is O2, Sky, um, even my networks uh, free and I was asking about the deals and I was very surprised how shit they are like uh, I just couldn't believe it because in back of my head I could swear I've seen a somewhere advert saying that I can have something for like I don't know 10 quid 12 quid I couldn't believe that those places have nothing to to offer so yeah so all those offers were shit but when I went to money supermarket or go compare everything changed suddenly I was starting to see offer low as 7.99 I was like how this is even possible so I was just I will just give you an example in my case, I'm going to mobile phones. I will go to SIM only deals. Again, I was paying 25 quid per month. So let's have a look what we have here. Let's go with something like, uh, I don't know, minimum 20 gigabytes of data. I don't wanna have nothing more than 12 months. So I'm interested basically in this offer. I don't want this uh, because they will be more expensive and you never know what will happen after one month. They can increase the price basically every month. So I want to have something like this. Let's go from the lowest price minimum. Suddenly I have low as seven quid per month. Hmm. But I want to avoid companies like this because those companies, they don't have their own bandwidth. They need to hire from different network providers some bandwidth. It's like, imagine there is a highway and you have like a five lanes two belongs to O2, one belongs to Network Free, the other one to, let's say, Sky, and so on, so on. So in UK, for example, in any other country, you have only few owners of the whole bandwidth. So small companies like this, Mobile, and what we else, uh, GIFGAF, for, exa for example, Libra, they do not have their own bandwidth. So in my example, they do not own any of those lines on the highway. So what they are doing, they are just renting. And uh, you know how it is with renting. You are limited. The same, for example, I was with one of those, I don't wanna tell you which one that was, but was one of those that I just mentioned. The price was great, unlimited data, everything, you know, bells and whistles, but 
I was like, what the f what the f is going on with this bandwidth? Everything is so fucking slow. I have no, I have a bad reception. I was calling and uh, and then I started reading about that and then I found out they are basically shit. So you wanna avoid that. So the first good company on this list is O2, seven ninety nine per month. Again, twelve month con contract, unlimited text, unlimited minutes, thirty gigs of data, which is more than probably you need. For example, me, I'm using phone every day. I'm watching videos. I'm I don't know Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and I'm using max fifteen gigs per month. So thirty is much more than I need. And seven ninety nine. Look at that. But like I mentioned, when I went to O2, they didn't mention anything about this. So what's going on? Let's let's go to O2 website. So when you go right now to O2, let's go from low to high. Contract length again. I'm interested in 12 months. Do I need something else? No, really. So look at that. Look at those freaking prices. 18 quid for one gigabyte of data. What's going on? 20 for six. For example, I see the deal 30 gigs for 7.99. On their main site, it costs 23.99. And this is what you will hear when you go physically to the store and you will speak with uh, their, you know, customer support guys. Guys, you need to understand something. These days, running any kind of uh, business is, uh, is expensive. So having a store in the city center, then hire all those people, have all the equipment, paying for bills, for rent, for electricity, that costs money. So when you go to store like this, the price will be this so don't be surprised so when you put the effort you can find deals like this so f that let's go back so again you're using search engines this is technology tool just simply use it for your benefit technology is there for you to help you from that point the only thing you need to do is just press here visit now and look what will happen now I'm on O2 website. I'm not doing this through the money supermarket. Money supermarket is just generating special link that goes to O2. But when you go like I just did, you will never see this deal. You need to go through money supermarket because those two things, they are working together. So O2 is giving special discount for a money supermarket people. So from that point, you just need to follow all those steps trust me i did that yesterday and took me i don't know 30 minutes you just need to put your personal data name address do you want to transfer your phone number in my case yes and um, and that's it sim card will be with me within 24 hours or you want e-sim which is even better you can do it straight away whatever you choose is your option like i mentioned there's another search engine go compare but for some reason was a little bit worse than my uh, that money supermarket, but I still want to show you something. So I'm going to utilities. I'm going to mobile phone deals. Sorry, SIM only deals. I want minimum 30 gigs, let's say. 12 months contract. And look at that. What a beautiful deals we have here. But for some reason, I don't see O2 offer for 799. Uh, so maybe O2 has different business deal with Money Supermarket than with uh, Go Compare. So be smart, use those two. This is again just a few minutes on the on the website. But what is important to me? Have a look. This is Network Free, which I'm using at the moment, and they have 60 gigs for 10 quid. Interesting, really. When I was their client and I went to the app and I was their client for years, I didn't see this. The cheapest monthly plan I've seen was like uh, 16 quid. So what's going on? You know what's going on because I just told you. So guys, be smart. Uh, again, my this video is a little bit different, um, but still about the technology. Use that for your advantage. 
very important tip right now I'm, I'm going to share with you. When you want to transfer your current number to the new network provider, you need to have something what is called PAC, PAC code. That PAC code is needed for a new provider to transfer all your details. Basically, you want to stay with the same phone number that you want to have. As soon as you made a request for, a, for this uh, code, you know what will happen? Suddenly they will fuck wake up and they will be like, don't go, stay with us, we have a special offer. And then they will give you an offer, not before that. <sighs> this is the world we are living now. You need to be on top of this because they will, they will try to charge you more on every, every possible occasion. Tip number two, I've noticed something over the years. I just want to share it with you. Whatever it is, is it car insurance, is it network provider, broadband provider, gas uh, or electricity, they don't care that you are with them a long time. They don't care that you are a great and loyal customer. So you just need to switch basically every year, which I'm doing with my car insurance. Every year they are going up and up. So the tip number two I want to give you guys is Go to the site like, I like GoCompare, so I'm going to talk about GoCompare. So go to this site, GoCompare, and make an account here. Just put all your details, like, uh, you know, normal details, your name, surname, email address. And when your car insurance is almost over, but this is very important, six weeks before your car insurance is over, so make uh, like a reminder on your phone, go here and pretend that you are looking for a car insurance. So put all the information, like uh, what car you're driving, uh, how many miles you're doing, where the car stays overnight, and just pretend. You don't need to do anything, just pretend that you are searching, that you are interested. Why it's important? Uh, because month before your car insurance is over, so we are talking about four and a half weeks, before your car insurance is over, they will send you email with uh, new price for, for the next year. They will always piss you off. The, the price will be always a little bit higher. But if you do that search a few weeks before that, they will have that in the system that you are actively looking. And this is, this is game changer because they know you know the game, you know how that looks like and you don't care because when they, when they will give you shit price, you will just switch and switch into different car insurance or home insurance, anything. It's so freaking simple these days. Start using those sites for your benefit. We are talking about hundreds of pounds every, every year. So yeah, trust me, you will have a different price. All right, guys, that's gonna be it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, consider subscribing. And uh, thank you, yes, and see you next time. Cheers. Financial. 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 Financial.